guys welcome back okay so today I decided to go ahead and do a look with the Pinky Rose Sunflower Palette now I just did a look using their Luscious Plum Palette and fell in love with that palette and after using that one I knew I had to just hurry up test this one out do a look with it because the color scheme in this palette is so so gorgeous so pretty i love the color stories that they used for these palettes so this is the palette that i use today let me give you a close-up look so this is what she looks like so so pretty i love these just warm earthy tones the teal greens are just so so beautiful it's just a really gorgeous color story to me it makes me think of fall it makes me feel all warm and cozy even though we're about to go into spring i don't care <laughs> i love the color story of this palette so this is what i played in today to create this look that i have on my eyes hopefully you like it and you want to hang around to check it out let me go ahead and insert some swatches for you guys so you can see how this palette swatches So those are all the swatches for this palette as you can see these colors are absolutely gorgeous and the color scheme is just really really beautiful i don't have too much to say about this palette because i already know i love it <laughs> and cannot wait to create another look with it i mean i love it so if you'd like to see how i created this look today stay tuned because it's coming up next Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm using my e.l.f. All Day Stay Eyeshadow Primer. I really like this eyeshadow primer. I know I've said it before, ever since I started using it. It just preps my lids so nicely, even without a white base. So the first shade I'm going into is Butterfly. And as you can see, this shade is basically like the same color as my skin tone. So you aren't able to see it, but it's a nice transition shade to blend your other colors into. Now I'm going into Grunge. <laughs> and you guys, I was not ready. Okay, I was not ready. I gently tapped into that green to place it in my crease and I was shook with the amount of pigmentation that showed up from just a little tap into the pan. So I knew right away I needed to be very careful with this color and <laughs> make sure that I blend it out. So I went back in with what was left on that brush from the first transition shade, Butterfly, and just kind of blended out the edge of that green just a little bit because I knew I still wanted a bold cut crease. <laughs> so I wanted to deepen up that green a bit though I didn't want it so bright so I'm going into blog life which is a really really dark brown it actually looks like it has just a hint of purple in it but it's still a really really dark brown and so I'm just taking that in my crease as you can see gently taking my time to blend it into that green and I'm taking it up even a little bit higher than I initially planned because I like the color that it turned that green into. Next, I'm going into the shade On Set. This is one of my favorite shades in the palette. It's kind of like that burnt orange brown shade. It just really, really looks nice on the skin tone and it goes excellent with green shadow. So I really, really love this shade. So as you can see, I'm just placing that right above that green blending it in for a nice transition for this crease now that i have those shadows down i'm going in with my revolution cut crease canvas you guys knew i was cutting my crease today <laughs> with this um crease or with my crease area being so deep 
So I'm basically doing like a three quarter cut, almost a full cut. And I'm just kind of tapping out the edge so that it's kind of blurred out and not so harsh. Now I'm going back into that dark brown shade Blog Life and just gently tapping that in the outer corner. I don't want to put down too much because I don't want it to be too dark, but I do want that color to deepen that outer corner. Right next to that, I'm going back into grunge, that gorgeous green shade. You see that pigmentation? <laughs> it is not plain. And I'm just gently tapping that green right next to that dark brown and just going back and forth, kind of making sure that those two colors are blended nicely together. Now I'm going into On Set, that beautiful kind of orangey brown shade, placing that right next to the green. As you can see, I'm really just trying to keep these same colors on the lid as I have in my crease, so it'll look like a nice cohesive eye look. Just going back in and blending out those edges. And for the inner part of my cut crease, I'm using this beautiful, it's kind of like a really light orange tone, shimmer shade called fly girl very very light <laughs> so you can see it once you you know place it down and pack it on but it is a very very light shade absolutely gorgeous now i'm just blending that orange tone into that shimmer shade as you guys know it's not that easy all the time to blend in shimmers with mattes but these blended in just fine now I'm going in with some of my NYX Black Liquid Eyeliner. Just doing a nice, simple wing for this look. And for my lower lash line, I'm going in with just a black pencil eyeliner. I'm not sure which one this is. It looks like a sample one because it's pretty small. <laughs> so I will put it in the description box. Next, I'm going into this gorgeous dark green shimmer shade called Thirsty. Just taking a nice flat packing brush and rubbing that right on my lower lash line. Wanted something a little different, and as you can see, that has a little bit of shimmer in it. So I went ahead, popped on some lashes, and I'm using my LA Girl mascara today on my lower lashes. And this is the look. <laughs> I have to say, you guys, I love this look. I'm feeling it. I didn't have any issues with this palette. Any, you know, problems I had with blending, it was my own fault because I was trying to do too much. But other than that, I love it. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to create this eye look. If you liked it, please hit like. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles! <laughs>